inverse trigonometry. We're still using SOHCAHTOA, okay? If you hadn't been here, or if you haven't been paying attention, I want to make sure you all understand at least what we're doing today. We are having a quiz on Wednesday over this stuff, and we'll have a little review tomorrow. Okay. Uh, I will be here to, not tomorrow, Wednesday after school. Okay. Usually I only do tutoring in the mornings, but I will be here after school on Wednesday. So if you need help after school, Wednesday, I will be here. Uh, you want to make sure you turn your last week form up and the trigonometry assignment. Okay. The one that's on the sliding board from Wednesday and we worked on it Thursday and Friday. Give you lots of time to work on that. Make sure you turn that in. Okay. Now, the warm-up is based on that same stuff. Uh, the angle I'm given is 36. So always start at the angle they give you. Put an arc there. Okay. So on a label, OHA. Okay. So O is what? 22. H is across from 90. A is your leftover. Now, remember last week I said cross out the one you don't that, that you don't know? But everything's labeled. Okay. What we're going to do is look for X first, so you're going to ignore Y. So if I'm ignoring Y, I'm going to ignore the A, okay? I don't need A right now because I'm just thinking about X and the 22 that I know, okay? So if I have those two, O and H, that's going to be so, which is sine, okay? So let's go ahead and write down sine. looks like sin, but it's just sine. And then after the trig, we always put what? The angle. What's the angle here? 36. So sine 36 equals, and it's, again, trig is, the sine is so, it's O over H, which is 22 over X. Do y'all remember the trick to solve for X here? We switch it with sine 36 and x. Those are going to switch places. So x equals 22 on top, sine 36 on the bottom. And we can use that to find our answer. So let's go to our calculator. I'm going to do a new document. Don't save. Okay, so 22 divided by sine 36. If you hadn't been here or you forgot, here's how you do this. 22, control divide. Trig is next to the number 7 right there in the trig button. Trig, we'll hit sine 36. And then I hit enter, and I want to round two decimal places to the right of the decimal. So I got 37.428. The 8 makes the 2. Round up. So 37.43 is my missing side, X. I'll label it. Okay, so now I know X is 37.43. Now I can find Y. There's two ways to find Y. How do you think I can find Y? Give me one way. Y'all remember, it was last unit. If I know one side, or sorry, if I know two sides of a right triangle, how can I figure out the third side? Remember A, B, and C? Remember what that theorem was called? So that was the P. Pythagorean theorem, okay? So here's one way to do it. If you figure out one side with, it, with trig, you can use the other side. Those two, Pythagorean theorem, to figure out the third side. That's one way to do it. Or we can just do trig all over again, okay? So there's more than one way to get the third side. Let's just do it with the trig again, okay? Now, here's the deal. This is A, right? Now that I'm looking for Y, I don't care about X, okay? So I'm going to cross out my H. I don't need no H anymore. If I'm looking for Y, I need the Y and the 22. That's O and A. Sokotoa, which one's OA? Toa. Let's go ahead and write tan. The angle, 36. 
equals O over A, which is 22 over X. Just like last time, when X is on the bottom, you do the switcheroo. Tan 36 and X are going to switch spots. So X equals 22 over tan 36. And we can type that into our calculator, okay? 22 divide tan 36. Ta-da! We get 30.280, which is just 30.28. By the way, that's a Y, not an X, I should say. Okay, so Y equals 30.28. Okay, all I'm doing is using the same trig we learned on Wednesday, Thursday, and the assignment practice you did on Thursday, Friday. Okay, so make sure you're getting this stuff down. I know y'all can copy, because anyone can do that, but are you doing this assignment? Showing me you can do that stuff, because you do have to do that on the quiz on Wednesday, okay? Now, part of this trigonometry unit, or topic is inverse trig. That's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how it's done. It's not going to be that hard if you follow along. All right, here we go. Ready? So make sure your name's on it. <clears throat> this says, okay, previously, and by the way, new notes, everyone's eyes up here, no headphones in our ears, no phones in our hands, please, okay? Headphones, please, please, please. This says, previously we have done regular standard trigonometry to find a missing side. Missing side. Today, we're going to use inverse trigonometry, going to underline inverse, to find a missing angle. By the way, angle is A-N-G-L-E, not E-L, not an angel, okay? Though, of course, math is angelic. No, seriously. Uh, angle. Now, what do I mean about, if you got a phone in your hand, put it down. You got headphones in your ears, take them out. Please. So inverse is notated with a little negative one. Okay, that means inverse. Looks like an exponent. Little negative one. Okay. <clears throat> so let me show you the show you how this works. We always start at the given angle. What's our given angle here? It's not a number, but it's x. Okay. This is my given angle. It's missing. But X is there, right? So step one, we marked our angle with an arc at X. Step two, we're going to label O, H, and A. So what's O going to be? Five. And then H is going to be what? nothing right there's nothing there then a is going to be the leftover which is 14 okay now we labeled o h and a which one of these has nothing on it h is nothing okay so let's cross out h if i only have o a is that so ka or toa what do you think which one's o a OA, right? Tan. Toa. So it wasn't OH, it wasn't OA, it was tan. Toa, right? So let's go ahead and write tan. Now, what do I always put after the trig? 
The angle. What's the angle? I don't know it, but it's X. Okay, I'm missing the angle, but I still got to put it. Tan X. equals, and then I'm going to put O over A, right? O over A is 5 over 14, okay? To solve this missing angle, I need to get X by itself. So what's right next to it that needs to go away? The tan, okay? So when you have a missing angle, you need to get rid of the trig. So here's the new thing that you're learning today. I'm going to show you how to get rid of trig, okay? And as you can imagine, it has to do with this stuff up here. You get rid of trig with what's called inverse trig with a little negative one. Now I'm going to write out the long way first, and then I'll show you a shortcut notation, okay? But what I'm going to do on each side, I'm going to put tan inverse with a little negative one. So here's how, here's how it's going to look. Tan inverse of tan x equals tan inverse of 5 over 14. All I did was add tan inverse on both sides, on the left and on the right. Now, when we did that step, we did it to get rid of the trig. The inverse and the regular tan cancel out. So here's what's left over. X equals tan inverse 5 over 14. So look at the beginning and look at this step I just wrote. The only thing that changed is the tan is no longer on the left. Now it's on the right with a little negative one sign. So here's a rule. When you move trig to the other side, you've got to put a little negative one on it. Okay, it's got to be inverse. Can we type that in our calculators and get the answer? Now, you may be wondering, what's, what's tan inverse? Where do I get that? Let me show you. You know that trig button? When you click the trig buttons, everyone looking right here? The top three are regular trig, but look right below it. Sine inverse, cosine inverse, tan inverse. All the inverse trig is right below the regular trig, okay? So I want to type tan inverse, so go ahead and click that button for right here, tan inverse. And then you can type 5 over 14. You can type it as 5 divided by 14, or you can do 5 control divide 14. Either way, hit enter, I get 19.653, the 3 makes the 5 stay the same. So 19.65, and since it's an angle, my units of measure are degrees, 19.65 degrees. Now, I don't want you to have to write all that every time. So I'm going to show you a little shortcut. Ready? Number one, my missing angle is X, right? Go ahead and label OHA on number one at the bottom. Okay. I'll give you a few seconds. Go ahead, everyone label OHA on number one. O is opposite H is across from the 90, A is left over. Which one do I not need? O, I don't need. So let's remember, so Katoa. Now, A, H is which one, Soka or Toa? A H is right here, right? So ka is cosine. So let's write that. Cosine, then my angle is 
x equals a over h, 10 over 13. Cool? Now, look right here. Woo! This, I don't want you to have to write this step every time. So here's a shortcut, okay? We said earlier, you can just move the trig to the other side as long as you put a little negative one on it. So here's what you can do, okay? Cosine, draw an arrow. It's going to go right here, but it has a negative one on it. Does everyone see what I'm doing? Cosine goes here with the negative one. That's the rule. So we can write that last step. X equals cosine's now on the right with a little negative one. 10 over 13. Could you type that in the calculator and get your answer? Trig, cosine inverse, 10 divided by 13. 39.715 makes the 1 go up. 39.72 degrees. So far, so good. Let's see how that works. Again, starting at X, label OHA. What's O? 11. What's H? Nothing. What's A? 16. Okay. Is everyone able to label OHA? Uh, which one do I not need? H is gone, so OA is TOA. Stands for tan. So tan X equals O over A, 11 over 16. How do I move that tan over? What does it become? Little negative one means inverse. It becomes an inverse trig problem. Okay, so I move tan over here, and it becomes inverse. So I'm going to bring down x equals tan is on the left on the right side tan inverse 11 over 16. Cool. All right. Now let's type it in our calculator. Tan inverse 11 over 16. So trig tan inverse 11 over 16. 34.508 makes the zero go up to 34.51. And our units of measure are degrees. So let me pause and say this, okay? If you haven't been paying attention or if you've been blindly copying, hear me say this. When you're missing an angle, you move the trig over with an inverse, okay? Type it in, get your answer. Okay, I can show you one more on the back. And the only reason why I'm going to show you the one on the back is because it's kind of weird. Look at number three. What's weird about it? Does everyone see on the back? Number three has X and Y. What's up with that? Okay. Let me show you real quick. Does anyone still need this? On the back, number three. Now, here's the question. Where do you start? Okay. Now, if I have two letters, I've got to pick one to start with. I'm going to pick X. Why not? You know, first one in the alphabetical order. So starting at X, label O, H, and A, which one do I not need? H. So if I remember, so Katoa, which one is O, A? Uh... O and A is TOA, right? So tan of X equals 10 over 24. And again, move the trig over with an inverse. So X equals 
pan inverse 10 over 24. And I got 22.619 makes the one go up. 22.62 degrees. So right here. Now real quick, if I know X is 22.62, how can I figure out Y? There's two ways. What's one way? What I just did, I could do that again. This is trigonometry, right? I can do trig. Do y'all know another way I can find Y that might be easier? What? It's hard to hear you. Okay, not Pythagorean because these are angles, okay? Pythagorean if they're the sides on the outside, okay? Right, but that, that's Pythagorean. We, we don't want to do that because we're talking about angles here, okay? Good, good guess, okay? Everybody, on the angles, what do the angles always add up to in a triangle? 180, right? So if you know one angle, oh wait, you know, if you know two angles, 90, and can't you add those two up, subtract from 180? Yeah, so either you do this all over again with Y, or add them up to 180. Either way works, okay? Uh, just because we've been doing a bunch of this, I'll, I'll do it the other way, okay? So take the 22.62, plus the 90, add them up, 112.62, subtract that from 180, and you get 67.38, yeah, so y equals 67.38, you subtract it from 180, okay, and we're going to, 4 is more of the same, so I think you get the idea, hopefully. Now, I'm passing out the assignment with the little time we have left, you can start it, I do want you to start this, but the main thing is, this one, the one from last Wednesday, you're going to have a review on it tomorrow, because there's a quiz on Wednesday over this. We gotta get this stuff in, so make sure you're doing what you need to do. Okay. Let's get started.